what what types of things uh, do script readers do? Because I mean, if we can if we can actually understand the role of the reader, then they as writers, I think, then that actually gives us some kind of perspective of how our scripts are seen. So what what types of things do you both have to do? Well, I think it depends on the reason you're reading. So you could be reading something to assess the writer. Uh, for example, like the competitions like the Channel 4 Screenwriters course. So you're, you're assessing to see whether the writer has potential, or you could be assessing a project to see if that has potential to be developed and whether you're going to give that funding, or you could be assessing, as uh, Athos was saying, uh, to see whether the company wants to acquire the product. It's already packaged and there's a director and actors attached, and you're just evaluating it as a commercial prospect. So there's different ways, you, you have a different aspect to for reading, depending on what the, the reason is. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit about um, the reading that I do for Paramount and the Mentor. For Paramount, it's mainly for acquisitions for the UK market. Um, so that has a, a role in how you read the project. Um, and usually these projects come prepackaged uh, with, with actors, producers, um, and a whole cast attached. Uh, sometimes not. Um, it just all depends. With Momentum Pictures, um, the markets they look at are the UK, Spain, and Canada. Um, Spain is quite an interesting market because sometimes you'll get a project that has sort of Latin um, elements um, and that might do well in Spain but not as well in the UK so you kind of have to weigh that up. Um, but it's essentially uh, you reading, they want to know if it's going to make money in that market ultimately and then uh, secondary but also importantly is does the script work? Thank you.